hello welcome to Romero threads on YouTube where it's all about embroidery in today's video I'm going to digitize four NFL logos and this is gonna be part of a series where I'm going to digitize all the NFL logos and I'm just gonna break them up into four logos per video so let's go ahead let's start with the Lions the Detroit Lions here very straightforward logo so you can see it kind of has these sharp ends like right on the tip of the letters it has like these kind of like small wings attached to it so here i'm using wilcom 4.5 and i'm using the column b where i'm doing one side first so i do side a first and then i do side b and just as an fyi this is part of a series where i started last week i went live last week and i kind of talked about some of the details of uh, digitizing so you can see that video if you want to catch up if you missed it you can catch that video in the description too all right kind of talked about some of the some of the basics of digitizing okay you can see where I'm doing one side first and then I go back and then I go to the other side so I do side A first and side B and then I set up these stitch angles I adjust them as I go okay so here I'm kind of once I've traced the logo, then it's all about putting everything in order and making sure I don't have any unnecessary cuts. And on the right hand side on design information, you can read some of the stats right there. Okay, so it's looking like about 1500 stitches with only one trim. Okay, so in all these logos, that's like my goal is to have only one trim in total okay so this one this one the lines very straightforward I, I really didn't experiment or try anything crazy with that one all right kind of the same thing with the Chiefs logo one thing that you got to be aware of is uh, the length of your sand stitches all right usually I don't want to go above nine millimeters even though you could go above nine millimeters I didn't want to go above nine millimeters so that's something that I kind of keep an eye out and you'll kind of see where, um, where I set it up where I could check the size and here on the letter H what I'm doing I'm using the complex turning and that allows me just to outline the entire shape and then I add these stitch angles and you'll see how it'll just kind of digitize it for me and I just make some adjustment but the magic is that magic uh, the magic cut tool okay and that kind of put the H in its proper stitch angles all right and then this one I'm back to the, the column B all right for the letter E and the big thing that I talked about on the live show was branching and what branching does it kind of digitizes the letter all as one object okay so you can see once I did the E now I do the F pretty much straightforward and here on the letter S I kind of experimented right here I was trying out uh, to break it up into two pieces okay you'll see how here on the software it looks pretty good it's a pretty good blend all right and then I'll show you with the final stitch out how this one looks all right so here it's just I didn't want any drastic stitch angles and I just wanted to see how it was gonna look like okay and then here now I'm just adjusting the sequence making sure I get only one trim all right it's all about adjusting your start and stop and making sure my my stitch is here so you can see on the right hand side it says maximum stitch so it's showing that my maximum stitch is a 8.8 .8 millimeters so I'm trying to keep it under nine millimeters so I'm good on that sometimes I have to make the the logo a bit smaller 
So I was trying to go four inches wide on all the logos, but anytime I had any long stitches, I would adjust and make it a little smaller. All right, now we're here with the Raiders, okay, the classic Raiders. And for this one, I actually tried to experiment with some of the stitch angles on the corner. I wanted to keep that nice, uh, clean, sharp angle above there. And you'll kind of see how it came out. Um, so I broke this R into three pieces. Usually you'll have it into two pieces. All right, and then here I'm gonna make the, the main bar on the left hand side so you can see how that goes. And then once I got everything sequenced, I put it all together. And then the same thing with the A. Wanted to experiment with this corner of the A just to kind of make it uh, blend in a bit. All right. And a lot of this is just experiment. Okay, what I, what I, what I'm doing here is just playing around with certain corners and you know, if something doesn't look right, it's always easy just to go back and just put it as a template lettering. Okay, so right here I'm putting the D, usually the D, you're doing it in one shot, but here, I, oh, same thing, I, I broke it up into two pieces. All right, just to see how it looks here. And then the same thing with the E. So I'm, I'm really playing with the corners here. And really it's just a matter of uh, branching and, and setting up the sequence. All right, so as long as we, it looks like a, a clean blend keeping the push pull in mind all right and then here work on that corner and of course this part this is always the first part of the letter e or the letter f now with the letter r it's just a matter of copy and paste all right and then the r is a it's slightly different than the main r so these two r's are not actually the same and this S, I'm just gonna do it straightforward. I'm not gonna do anything, uh, I'm not gonna break it up into pieces here. All right, so just set the stitch angles. Since I'm using the column B, I'm just setting the stitch angles. All right, and the letter S it has a bunch of different stitch angles as it turns around. Then here I'm just adjusting the sequence, so the main goal. So you can see how the trims, it started like at 10 and I'm bringing it all the way down to one trim total. So after every letter. All right, and then I stitch it out. You can see here, this is on a, this is on a polo shirt fabric. And what I'm doing here, I'm just putting a, a super bright orange just so it could highlight and show any like imperfections, anything that I think doesn't look right. And let's start with the Raiders, Raider logo. So this is the one where I was kind of experimenting with different corners. There are some letters like the letter R that looks all right, okay. Uh, letter A, that is just too much going on, like on the top part of the A, it's too much going on. And so what I'm gonna do on the next round, I'm just gonna digitize it normal, all right. This is the main thing about testing and trying out new, uh, new techniques, all right. Sometimes it doesn't work. In this situation, I was just experimenting. I didn't really like it, all right. With the lions, with the Lions, the Lions logo, it's looking all right. It's looking pretty good. Uh, the only thing I gotta fix is the push pull. So you can see how the, uh, the text, we have different heights. So for example, the letter O, I gotta make sure I stretch that out. Okay, same thing with the, the top part of the letter N and the S, all right? So really, this is kind of like super zoomed in, okay? Uh, normally you really wouldn't catch it, but of course we want to make it as perfect as possible. So we want to make sure we fix those heights and the same thing with chiefs. Okay. Thing with chiefs, uh, the S that's the one that's broken up into three different pieces. So what I want to do, I'm just going to turn it into one piece and then adjust the, the push pull on the heights. Okay. Cause you can see the letter C. All right, the letter C compared to the letter H, it looks very short and it looks small. So we wanna make sure we stretch that out. 
uh, from top to bottom. And then the jet, same thing, the push-pull, the top-bottom, make sure all the, the heights look the same. All right, so on the Raiders, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go back and digitize it just the normal way instead of breaking it up into two pieces. I'm going to go ahead, uh, this part of the R, right, and really it's like a P, right? It's like the letter P, so I'm just going to digitize it normal. All right. Uh, sometimes we do have to break it up when it's a certain size, like your sand stitch. Your if your length is too long, you might have to break it up. But we're still in a reasonable size, so we could just digitize it normal. All right. So we got just the normal look there, and then the same thing with the letter A. Okay, letter A. We're gonna I'm gonna delete all that easy, and just kind of digitize it the traditional way. Okay, um, here I started off with, I was just going to butt it up, so kind of bridging them together. All right, it looks all right here, but it's going to look better if I just take it all the way. So you'll see kind of what I'm talking about here. All right, just take it all the way, cover it up. All right, and then that'll just blend in together there. Then we branch it, turn it into one piece. Same thing with the letter D. We're going to do this part all in one shot. So just a traditional way. All right, especially since it's block, it's just easier. It probably makes more sense just to do it the standard way. All right, but you know, it's always good to experiment, try out different techniques. All right, in that situation, I didn't like the way it looked, so I'm just going back to the normal way. All right, and then the letter E, same thing. So good thing about block fonts, okay, very straightforward, nothing too crazy, uh, not too much thinking involved with the block fonts. And pretty much, probably like 90% of all these logos, they're all block fonts. All right, and then the letter R, it's just a matter of copy and paste. Okay, here on the lines, everything looked good. And this one, I'm just fixing the push-pull, so anything that's pulling in from top to bottom, making sure I stretch it out a bit, all right? And I'm really giving about 0.2 of a difference, so you kind of see where I'm building my lines, okay? Same thing with the, with the, with the jets. Okay, I'm just measuring there, making sure I got a 0.2 of a difference, all right? That's really the only change on this one. And then here, the S, I'm just going to... I'm just going to do the S instead of breaking it up into three different pieces. All right, same thing. I'm just going to go ahead, do it all in one shot here. All right, it does have like a kind of weird, uh, kind of like a, a weird stitch angle here on the spline of the S, but it actually looks good when once you stitch it out. Okay. And then same thing. Let's, let's, Let's focus on our push pull here. All right, so here the letter E, F. Okay, we know the top part of those letters. This is my second stitch out. Okay, so you can see on the Raiders, okay, letters, okay, letters are looking real clean. So let's focus on the letter A of Raiders. All right, we have a nice clean blend. I like the blend on that A. Looks real clean. Same, same thing with the letter R, right? Pretty much all the letters look clean. The only thing I, I forgot to do on this step was adjust the heights, okay? That's just an easy uh, pulling the heights, okay, from top and bottom. All right, and here, just note that we are super zoomed in right here. All right, so even if you were to be wearing it at this stage, it's still, it's, it'll still look good, but of course we want to make those letters perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, and then if we focus on the second one, the lions, uh, now we have the heights. Okay, you can see the top and the bottom uh, looking straight, like the same height. All right, and then chiefs, okay, every, all the heights are lining up. I would just kind of pull the letter C, so you can see the letter C. I would still pull from top and bottom. I would pull the letter C a little higher, okay, line that up a bit. And that's really, uh, there's certain letters where you got to pull, okay, the push-pull requires more, so I think the letter C requires more, so 
just a tad bit on the letter C. All right, and then jets. Okay, jets, the height, everything looks clean. All right, and what I want to do at the very end of this series is just kind of put the final, all the final stitch outs. All right, the good thing about these texts, the Raiders, that's four inches wide. So we, we got a, so we got a good size height on these. All right, so this is the first one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this a series. We're gonna do all 32 teams. So let me know what you wanna see on the next one. Okay, any information that I'm missing, let me know. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.